Wonderful. All right. Thank you so much for joining me for a 75 minute yoga class, almost said 60 minute, a 75 minute yoga class that I'm calling Ghost Flow Yoga. Um, we will follow the sequence of 26 and 2 yoga, but we will add optional sun salutes and other posture variations that come out of the Vishnu Ghost lineage. Vishnu Ghosh was Vikram's teacher. Vikram is the person that created um, or really popularized 26 and 2 yoga. So we are both digging into um, the, the roots of this style of yoga, which is out of Kolkata, India. And we're also just like having fun and exploring our bodies, exploring our practice. And um, with all the postures, especially all the optional like sun salutes and different variations of the postures, if something is not working for you, remember that you can modify, you can do something else or you can skip it. Yoga can be challenging at times and that's okay, but we're never going to a point of pain, point where we could do harm to ourselves or others. On that note, I'm dealing with a little bit of like a sore hip and a, a kink in my neck from sleeping wrong. So um, I will be taking it easy. And I just want to remind you that you can do this class even when you need to take it a little bit easy. It's not meant to be like so intense that, you know, only athletes can do it, right? Okay, so we're going to come to the middle of our mat for two sets of pranayama deep breathing, good for the lungs and respiratory system. You'll inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth, all the time against the back of your throat. Your nose and your uh, mouth are just a passageway. Breathe as much as possible, as long as possible, as slow as possible. Don't forget to have fun. Feet together, toes heels touching nicely. Interlock your 10 fingers, cross your thumbs, pull your knuckles underneath your chin. Rock your weight into your heels. Relax your shoulders down away from your ears. You made it to class. Concentrate. Meditate and begin. Inhale, chin down and arms up. Breathe in through your nose. Lift your elbows up. Suck your stomach in. Fill up your lungs. Exhale, head up. Exhale through your mouth. H-A. Down, head back. Arms forward, elbows touch. Good. Inhale, chin down. Slowly bring your chin down. Look straight ahead. Lift your elbows all the way up. Breathe deep, full lungs. Exhale, head up. Slowly push your head back. Look way, way, way back to the wall behind you. Arms forward, elbows touch. Inhale, head down. So we're just working on a range of motion in our neck, in our arms, and our lung capacity. Breathe deep. Exhale, head up. So eventually your head will relax all the way back. If your neck is a little achy today like mine is, maybe just look up towards the ceiling. Press your elbows together. Inhale, head down. Every new inhale, you're going to take in more air than the last breath to expand your lung capacity. Exhale, head up. The more you exhale here, the more fresh oxygen you can take in on your next breath, push the air out. Inhale, head down. So make this the deepest breath so far, breathing into the top of the lungs, middle of the lungs, bottom of the lungs, full lungs. Exhale, head up. In our day-to-day -day life, we don't really use the full lung capacity, but the lungs need to be worked out like any other part of the body. Inhale, head down. This is the last breath in the first set. Make your spine a little longer, elbows a little higher, lungs a little fuller. Suck your stomach in, breathe deep, full lungs. Exhale, head up, take your time. Eyes open, hips forward, legs locked, stomach in. Keep exhaling, push, squeeze, elbows touch. Good, change, arms down, you can roll out your shoulders and head. Second set, feet together, interlock your 10 fingers, cross your thumbs, glue your knuckles underneath your chin. Squeeze your thighs, squeeze your butt, grow taller out of the base of your spine. And begin, inhale, chin down and arms up, breathe in through your nose. Lift your elbows up, suck your stomach in, fill up your lungs. Exhale, head up, exhale through your mouth, slowly head back, stretch your arms forward, elbows touch away from your body. Inhale, head down, keep the weight in your heels. Root down through your heels, lift up through your chest, elbows up, full lungs. Exhale, head up, weight stays in your heels, lift your kneecaps, squeeze your glutes, lock your legs. Inhale, head down. Just the neck and arms are moving. Try to keep the shoulders down, chest up, spine straight from the side. Exhale, head up. Just your head drops back, no backward bending. Keep shoulders over hips, hips over heels, weight in the heels. Inhale, head down as you inhale. Suck your stomach in, depression to abdominal wall, contraction to abdominal muscles. Exhale, head up, suck it in, hold it in tight. Abdomen in, chest up, shoulders down, elbows up, triceps parallel to the floor. Inhale, head down, make this the deepest breath so far. Chin down, elbows up, stomach in, full lungs. Exhale, head up, most relaxed exhale so far. Just starting to let go of the day, leaning into your yoga practice, your mind-body connection. Be here now, elbows touch. 
Inhale, head down. This is the last breath. Second set, deepest breath of your life when your lungs are totally full. Surprise yourself. Take in one more sip of air. Exhale, head up. Take your time. Let everything go through the exhale breath. Any worries, any cares, be here now. Elbows touch. Good. Change. Arms down. We'll continue with Ardha Chandrasana with Padastasana, half moon with hands to feet pose. Feet together, inhale your arms over your head sideways, palms together, interlock your fingers, release your index fingers and cross your thumbs. Bring the weight into your heels, hips forward, arms back, stretch up and bend right and left, right and left. Every time you pass through the middle, reach up a little taller. When you can't stretch anymore, come to stop in the middle. Bring the weight into your heels, Press your hips a little forward, squeeze your palms together, upper body back, touch your biceps to your ears. Imagine you're leaning your whole body against a wall behind you. Inhale, breathing, stretch up out of your waist, try to touch the ceiling. Exhale, breathing, absolutely straight line, slowly bend your body to the right. Without bending your elbows and knees, continuously push your hips to the left beyond your flexibility, stretching the left side body, toning the right side body, don't collapse. It's worth noting that I'm not mirroring you, so it might look like I'm bending to the left when in fact I'm bending to the right. You are welcome to follow my words or my body. Just know that in general, we will do the right side of postures first. So with that in mind, inhale, lengthen your arms to the right. Exhale, come down, push, push, push. Change, inhale to come up, weight in the heels. Hips forward, arms back, stretch up, and slowly drop to the left as you press your hips to the right. Relax your face, relax your shoulders, Lift your chin, lift your chest. It's a very proud posture and you have so much to be proud of for coming to class today. Notice if the knees and elbows are bending or maybe the wrists are bending and the hands are coming apart. Squeeze your palms together, lift your chin, engage your abdominal wall and continue to breathe through your nose. As you inhale, lengthen your arms. As you exhale, come down, push, push, push. Change, inhale to come up. First back bend of the day. This is the only posture I can't show and tell at the same time. Take a deep breath, pull lungs, keep your eyes open, and relax your head back as far as it goes. If you give your head a gentle shake, look for the floor behind you. Squeeze your butt, lift your chest, and bring your arms back with your ears. Try to touch the wall behind you. So whole spine back bending from coccyx to the neck, lower back, middle back, upper back. Bend your total spine backward bending. Try to fall down backwards. Maximum weight in your heels. Inhale, breathing, push stomach, thighs, hips, everything forward, and bring your arms back, look back, fall back, way back, go back, more back, change. Inhale to come up, stretch up, lengthen. Exhale, bend your knees, fold arms with your ears, hands to floor, relax your head. Go for a walk, move your hips, shake your head. This is a U-turn from back bending to forward folding. At the beginning of class, your spine might not be quite warmed up yet. Move your hips to get your lower back nice, relaxed, comfortable, easy, and flexible. How to stop the hands to peak pose. Bend your knees halfway, you can grab the backs of your caps, your Achilles or your heels from underneath. Step on all 10 fingers, pull on your heels, roll your weight into your toes and lift your hips up. Throughout the posture, touch stomach to thighs, chest knees, one day face to the shins below the knees, no room for light and air between the upper and lower body. Pull your abdomen in, pull on your heels, roll your weight into your big toes, lift your hips up, stretch your spine down. We're gonna flow this into um, a vinyasa. So on your next inhale, release the grip from your feet or the back of your hands and lengthen into a halfway lift. So back flat, you can have your hands on your thighs, your shins, or the floor in front of you. Exhale, bend your knees, actively push your hands into the floor, feel your biceps turn on, and then step back into a high plank or tabletop position. On your next exhale, hug your elbows in, and imagine you're gonna pull yourself down to the floor. Think about pulling rather than pushing. Inhale, come up into a back bend. You can do cobra with elbows bent and thighs on the floor, or up dog with arms straight and thighs off the floor. Exhale, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up for down dog. You can pedal out your legs, so bend one knee, straighten the other, or maybe lift your heels all the way up to the ceiling and press your heels all the way down to the floor. Lift your tailbone to the ceiling and then really push the floor away from you. So think expansiveness along the back, nice long stretched out back. Um, if down dog is not speaking to you, come down onto your knees and take a child's pose instead. So you can sink your hips down to the heels as you stretch your arms forward. Still think about an expansive back. So every uh, plank can be a tabletop. Every up dog can be a cobra. And every down dog can be a child's pose. 
We will do multiple vinyasas or sun salutes during class. Uh, just because you do one with plank, the next one you can always do a tabletop or vice versa. Feel free to play around with it. On your next inhale, hands to the floor. Look forward and step forward, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees, fold, relax your head. Inhale, arms with your ears, hands together, lift up, look up. Exhale, arms down. Wonderful. Second set, feet together. Inhale, arms overhead, palms together. Interlock fingers, release index fingers, cross thumbs. Maybe switch the grip, opposite thumb, pinky finger on top. Keep the weight in your heels, hips forward, arms back, stretch up, and slowly drop to the right as you press your hips to the left. Come down without bending your elbows and knees. Keep the weight in your heels, hips a little more forward, upper body back, touch your biceps to your ears. Push your left hip forward to get your two hips in line. Now bring your right shoulder forward, open your chest like a flower, petal blooming, come down, push and push and push. Change, inhale to come up, hips forward, arms back, stretch up and slowly drop to the left as you press your hips to the right. Come down without holding your breath, without gritting your teeth, keep the weight in your heels, lift your kneecaps, press your hips forward, engage your abdominal wall, slide your breastbone up. Push your right hip forward, two hips in line, left shoulder forward, open your chest like a flower petal blooming, come down, push, 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 change, inhale to come up. Second heart opener, take a deep breath, full lungs, keep your eyes open, relax your head back as far as it goes, squeeze your butt, lift your chest, and bring your arms back with your ears. So as you go back, notice that the wrists start to bend and the hands are coming apart. Squeeze your palms together, actively push your hands back. Bring your arms back, look back, fall back, way back, go back, more back, change. Inhale to come up, stretch up. Exhale, bend your knees, full. Biceps with your ears, hands to the floor, relax your head. Go for another walk, move your hips, shake your head. Notice what's a little bit more loose in the second set. It's still a little like tight and tender. There's no right or wrong answer. Second set, Padastasana, bend your knees halfway. You can grab the backs of your legs or your heels from underneath, step on all 10 fingers. Pull on your heels, roll your weight into your toes and lift your hips up. Stretch your upper body down from the lower spine to the floor. Pulling is the object of stretching. Think about hooking your rib cage over your knees. Pull on your heels, roll your weight into your toes, lift your hips up, stretch your spine down. Remember, we're gonna go back into our vinyasa, release the grip from your feet or your legs, and on your next inhale, lengthen halfway. So you want the weight in the balls of your feet, hips over heels, back flat, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, bend your knees, fold, hands to floor. Step back into your high plank or tabletop position. Now, if that lower and down motion does not work for you, skip it. Go straight from your plank or tabletop directly into your child's pose or down dog. Otherwise, take a uh, chaturanga, start to lower down like you're pulling yourself down, and then inhale, come up into your back bend. If you're doing up dog, make sure your thighs are off the floor. Exhale, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up for down dog or sink your hips down for child's pose. So when I give different you know, modifications or variations of postures, please keep in mind that one is not better than the other, they're just different, right? So whether you're doing child's pose or down dog, as long as it's serving you, that is all that matters. Try to externally rotate your shoulders here so bring the elbows in a bit, spread your fingers wide, root down through all 28 knuckles, especially the space between your index finger and thumb. Lift your hips, your tailbone to the ceiling, press your heels to the floor and look for your thighs behind you. On your next inhale, look forward, step forward, lengthen, halfway lift, shoulders away from ears. Exhale, bend your knees, fold, relax your head. Inhale, arms with your ears, root to rise, lift up. Exhale, arms down. We're gonna do a third set that goes really fast. Ready, feet together, arms up, palms together. This time, just cross your thumbs, push your hips forward, lean back, stretch off and slowly drop to the right for five, four, three, two, one. Change, inhale to come up, hips forward, arms back, stretch up, and slowly drop to the left for five, four, relax your face, three, two, one. Change, inhale to come up, back bend, take a deep breath, full lungs, keep your eyes open, relax your head back as far as it goes, and bring your arms back for five, four, three, two, one, change, inhale to come up, stretch up, go down. This time right away, grab the backs of your legs or your heels, pull on your heels, roll your weight into your toes, lift your hips up, try to lock your legs, lock your legs, lock your legs. Change, inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. 
Exhale, hands to floor, shoulder with distance. Push your hands into the floor. Step back into your high plank or tabletop. Keep exhaling, pull yourself down halfway to the floor. Inhale, come up into your back bend. Exhale, hips up for down dog or hips down for child's pose. Spine strength, right? So externally rotate the shoulders, hug the elbows in, press down through the knuckles, push your heels down, lift your hips up, take an inhale. Exhale. Inhale, look forward, step forward, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach to rise, lift up. Exhale, arms down. Wonderful. Awkward. Ukatasana. First set normal. Step your right foot to the right. Six inches, hip width distance. Insides of your feet perfectly parallel, like 11s. Arms up, parallel to the floor. Tricep muscles tight. Abdomen in. Bend your knees. Sit back and down into a chair. Feet flat position. Spine straight to begin with. 100% of your body weight in your heels. Sit down halfway only. Hips into a chair. Suck your stomach in and lean your upper body back. Depression to abdominal wall. Contraction to abdominal muscles, suck it in, hold it in tight, shift a little bit more weight back into your heels, lift your chin up, chest up, lean back, fall back, way back, change, inhale to come up, keep your arms there, push your hips a little forward, spread your toes wide, and come up maximum on your tippy tippy toes like a ballerina. Stretch up first, bend your knees, sit down. Notice if your knees are coming in or out, keep six inches between toes, heels, knees and hands, heels a little higher, knees a little higher, sit down into a chair, but don't sit below a chair. Change, inhale to come up. Last part, keep your arms there, squeeze your knees together, let your heels come a little off the floor, and slowly sit down. Take your time, stop whenever you want, or keep sitting down until there's a half inch gap between your hips and your heels. Squeeze your knees together and forward, lift your chest, drop your shoulders, change, slowly come up, knees together, good. Feet down, right foot back, arms down, optional sun salute, inhale, lift your arms up, look up, exhale, bend your knees, fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, you can step or float back. If you float back, lower down, land with your elbows bent. Inhale, come up into your back bend. Exhale for your spine stretch. Hips to the ceiling, heels to the floor. Push down the space between your index finger and thumb. Take an inhale. Exhale. Inhale, look forward. You can step or practice floating forward. Lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise, lift up. Exhale, arms down. Second set, awkward. Step your right foot to the right, six inches. I will offer some optional variations here. So if you'd like second set, hands together at heart center, abdomen in, bend your knees, sit back and down. Now you can stay right here or bring left elbow to outer right knee and then start to twist. Look out towards the ceiling. Try to get your thumbs in the center of your sternum. From here, reach your arms, six and 12 o'clock, right arm up. Left arm down, look for your right thumb, and move your hips a little to the left. Good, bring your hands back together at heart center, unwind, other side. Take right elbow to outer left knee, and then twist. Try to get your thumbs in the center of your chest rather than left pectoral. Start to bring your arms up and down, look up towards the ceiling, and on this side, move your hips a little to the right so your hips stay in line. Good, bring your hands back together, unwind, change. Inhale to come up, spread your toes wide, lift your heels, stretch up, bend your knees, sit down. For a second set, if you'd like, you can fold forward, right? So normally we lean back, but here you can fold forward and start to bring your hands back, arms back, palms facing inward, thumbs to the floor, pinky fingers to the ceiling, heels up, sit down. Good, change, balance challenge, keep your heels lifted. Bring your arms up parallel to the floor. Squeeze your knees together and slowly sit down to a count of 10 in your head. Good. Squeeze your knees together and forward. If you're sitting all the way down, you have healthy knees and you'd like to test your balance, strength and control, come up one inch and hold. Come up one inch and hold, stomach in and change. Slowly come up. Good, feet down, arms down, feet back together. Optional vinyasa, inhale, lift your arms up, look up. Exhale, arms with your ears fold. Inhale, lengthen, shoulders away from ears. Exhale, you can step or float back. If you're floating back, lower down with elbows bent. Inhale, come up into your up dog or cobra. Exhale, your down dog or child's pose. So if your heels are off the floor here, a couple options, if you have really tight hamstrings, Bend your knees a little bit, right? That'll take some pressure off of the hamstrings. You can also take a wider step with your feet and that'll get your heels closer to the floor. 
On your next inhale, look forward, step or float forward, lengthen, halfway lift, shoulders away from ears. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms with your ears lift up. Eagle pose, exhale, bring right elbow under left elbow. Right arm under left arm, eagle garasana. Pull elbows down, bend your knees. Try to keep your hips down low, hips into a chair, and bring right leg over left leg. Right leg over left leg, cross twist, and eventually wrap your right foot behind your left calf muscle. Very nice. If your foot is coming out, sit down more. If you're losing your balance, hurt your upper body back. Bring your knees to the right, upper body to the left, twist like ropes, sit down, and lean back. Good, change feet together, arms over your head, left side. Bring your left arm zoom, under your right arm, palms together, thumbs towards your face, pinkies away from your face. Pull your elbows down, bend your knees, try to keep your hips down low, and bring your left leg over your right leg, left over right, cross twist, and eventually see if you can wrap your left foot behind your right calf. So my, for my flexi folks, just because you can do something doesn't mean you should, right? Like I can wrap my foot here, but it kind of aggravates my hip right now, so I'm not going to do it. Do, to, do your best. Honor your body always. Sit down more if it feels good, and lean your upper body back. Good. Change. Feet together, arms over your head. Sun salute. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, push hands into the floor. Step or float back. If you're floating back, land with your elbows bent. Inhale your up dog, exhale your down dog. Shoulders wide, elbows in a little bit, push the floor away from you, look for your thighs behind you. Legs back, heels down, hips up. Inhale, look, step forward or float forward, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise, lift up. Exhale, second set, we're gonna do arms and legs at once, right? Right arm under left arm, right leg over left leg, all at once, very nice. So right arm under left arm, right leg over left leg. Push your left hip forward, two hips in line, right shoulder forward, two shoulders in line. You want wrists over elbows, elbows over knees, knees over ankle, bring the weight back into your heel, sit down and lean back. Good, change feet together, arms over your head. Let's do the left side. Left arm under right arm, left leg over right leg. Cross twist and breathe through your nose. Right hip a little forward, left shoulder forward. Now think about bringing right knee to right, hand left knee to right, and left knee to left, right elbow to right, and left elbow to left. Feel deep compression running beyond the center line of your body among all your major joints. Change feet together, inhale, arms over head. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step or float back, lower down with elbows bent. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Very nice. Take a breath here. Slow inhale through the nose. Easy exhale through the nose. Inhale, look, step or float forward, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise, lift up. Exhale, arms down, party time. Very nice. Grab a sip of water if you want. Cheers. <laughs> okay. Lovely. Um, so we are now entering into the balancing series. We're going to balance on one leg for the next three postures. In this class, for a little bit of a balance challenge, we're going to flow standing head to knee to standing bow on each side without taking a break. So you'll go from standing head to knee, try to stay on one foot, go to standing bow, and then do the other side. And this will also help us feel how the postures are different. Okay, standing head to knee, Dande Amana, Johnny Shrasana. Shift your weight to your left leg, evenly distribute your body weight on your left foot, lock your left leg. Lift your right leg up, point your toes, flex your toes, keep your toes flexed back to your face, abdomen in. As you're ready, round down and eventually pick up your right foot. All 10 fingers interlocked. From start to finish, standing legs should be solid concrete. One piece lamp post unbroken, you have no knee. When you're ready, inhale breathing, slowly, gently lift your right leg up. Stretch it forward until your right leg is exactly parallel to the floor, no higher, no lower, standing leg locked. If both legs lock, start to bend your elbows down. Touch elbows to calf muscles one day, elbows go below the calf muscles, lock your knee, lock your knee, lock your knee, change. Keep your right leg lifted, point your right toes, bring your knees together, bring your right hand up, out to the right, reach back, pick up the inside of your right foot at the ankle, thumb with your index finger, bring your left arm up, Right hip forward, try to start with your knees and hips in line. Lift your left kneecap, 
point your right toes, take a breath, stretch up, and slowly charge your body forward. Simultaneously kick your right leg back and up. This is a back bend. Slowly bring the body down and the leg up. See the foot come directly over the top of your head. So from the side, two heels in line. Kick back and up. In other words, two shoulders in line. Touch your chin to your shoulder. Shoulder blade scapula coming out of the body. Kicking and stretching equal, simultaneous, 50-50. The harder you kick, you can balance forever. Body down more, leg up more, kick, kick, kick. Very nice change. Slowly kick yourself up. Let's do the other side. Shift your weight to your right leg. Evenly distribute your body weight on your right foot without grabbing the floor with your toes. Lift your left leg up, point your toes, flex your toes, keep your toes flexed back, and you should feel some relief to that calf and Achilles. Abdomen in, as you're ready, round down and pick up your left foot. All 10 fingers interlocked. So lift your right kneecap, flex your left toes back, engage your abdominal wall, and when you're ready, slowly lift your left leg up. Kick your heel forward, flex your toes back, if your standing leg is bending a lot, think about lifting your hips up so your knee is over your ankle, not your big toe. If both legs lock, bend elbows down. Touch elbows to calf muscles one day, elbows go below the calf muscles. Lock your knee, lock your knee, lock your knee. Change. Slowly reverse out. Keep that left leg lifted, point your left toes, knees together. Bring your left hand up, out to the left, reach back, pick up the inside of your left foot at the ankle bone, right arm up left hip forward, knees together. Lock your right leg, point your left toes, take a breath, stretch up, and slowly charge your body forward. Simultaneously kick your left leg back and up. So in standing head to knee, we round the spine and compress the abdominal wall. In standing bow, we bend the spine and extend and stretch the abdominal wall. In standing head to knee, we flex the kicking foot in standing bow, we point the kicking foot. Slide your right shoulder forward, left shoulder back. In both postures, try to keep the hips even, left hip down, so hard. Body down more, leg up more, kick, kick, kick. Good, change, slowly kick yourself up, feet together, arms down. I'm working on keeping my hips in line in this posture and it is not easy, okay? Second set, shift your weight to your left leg, lock your left leg, lift your right leg up. Flex your toes back, squeeze your left butt cheek the whole time. As you're ready, round down and pick up your foot. Whew, all 10 fingers interlocked. Concentrate, meditate. Don't forget to have fun. When you're ready, lift your right leg up. If both legs lock, bend elbows down. If elbows go below calf muscles, slowly tuck your chin to your chest, put your forehead on your knee. And if that's easy, maybe let go. One day forehead and knee stay in contact. Not today for me. When you're ready, slowly reverse out. <sighs> Try to keep that right leg lifted. Point your right toes, knees together. Let's do both arms at once. Left arm up, right arm down, grab your right foot. Lock your left leg, point your right toes, take a breath, stretch up, and slowly kick, stretch, and breathe. Slide left shoulder forward, right shoulder back. Lift your chin, press your chest forward, Breathe through your nose. Slowly body down, keep the chin and chest lifted, get the back bend, body down, leg up, kick, kick, kick. Very nice change, slowly. Kick yourself up, last one, here we go. Shift your weight to your right leg, lock your right leg, lift your left leg up, flex your toes back, stomach in, round down, pick up your left foot. So English Bulldog Determination, Bengal Tiger Strength. When you're ready, lift your left leg up. If both legs lock, bend elbows down. Elbows go below calf muscles, tuck your chin to your chest, put your forehead on your knee, and if that's easy, maybe start to let go of your foot for three, two, one. Change, slowly reverse out. Try to keep that left leg lifted, point your left toes, knees together. Let's do both arms at once, right arm up, left arm down, grab your left foot. Lock your right leg, point your left toes, relax your face, stretch up, and slowly kick, stretch, and breathe. So lift your right kneecap, but make sure you're not grabbing the floor with your right toes. Slowly right shoulder forward, left shoulder back, maybe right hip back a little bit, breathe through your nose. Lock your right leg, point your left toes, come down, body down more, leg up more, kick, kick, 
kick very nice change slowly kick yourself up okay come to the back of your mat and tall tool dandasana balancing stick feet together inhale arms overhead palms together interlock fingers release index fingers cross thumbs and lean back step your right foot forward shift your weight to your right foot stretch up and tilt i'm going to stay in the setup but you can come down arms body head legs everything parallel to the floor from the side body makes a t like tom but not a broken umbrella stretch 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 good change left foot down right foot back lean back step your left foot forward stretch up point your right toes and tilt like a slow moving seesaw you want to go down slowly so you're working on strength bring the chest down chin forward lift your right leg up drop your right hip down palms together stretch change right foot down left foot back arms down you're welcome to do second set just as we did first set you can also try another fun posture called split arm that i will show you from the side inhale arms overhead palms together cross your thumbs exhale step your right foot forward inhale stretch up exhale start to tilt so come down just like balancing stick arms body head legs everything parallel to the floor and once you're parallel keep going Bring the stomach to thigh, left big toe to the ceiling. So chest down, get a back bend, chin forward, arms up, leg up, stretch. Change, left foot down, right foot back, lean back, step your left foot forward, stretch up, point your right toes and tilt. Slowly come down and when you're ready, split your arms apart. That's why it's called split arm. Bring the arms up and back, stomach to thigh, to get the back bend, look forward, Keep your chin and chest lifted. Try to touch your right big toe to the ceiling. Lift your leg up. Change, right foot down, left foot back. Optional sun salute, inhale, look up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, you can step or walk yourself back. Keep exhaling, lower down, pull yourself down. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog or child's pose. I'm gonna take a child's pose. If you're doing down dog, spread your fingers wide. Take an inhale, exhale, inhale, look forward, step or float forward, lengthen, halfway lift, exhale, fold, inhale, arms with your ears, lift up, exhale, step your right foot to the right, big step, four feet minimum, standing separate leg, stretching, Dande Amana Bikaptapada, Paschimottanasana. If you'd like to turn to be on the long side of your mat, you're welcome to do so. Toes in, heels out, lock your legs, lift your chest and swan dive forward. First set normal. Grab your heels from behind. If you can't grab your heels, you can grab the outsides of your feet. You can grab your pinky toes. You can also start with your hands on the floor in front of you. Everybody roll forward, lift your hips up, push your knees back, pull, stretch, try to touch your head to the floor in between your feet. This is a great moment to catch your breath. Take a slow inhale, lift your hips. Slow exhale, slide the spine down, forehead to floor. Good, change, slowly come up. Back flat, we're gonna flow to triangle, trikonasana. Press your hips forward, lean your upper body back, turn your right foot out, take a bigger step. Okay, bend your right leg and lunge. Sit as low as you can, press your hips forward, lean back and move your arms at the same time. Eventually right thigh parallel to the floor. If your thigh's not yet parallel to the floor, maybe just the wrist or forearm in front of the knee so you get a long diagonal stretch from your ankle to the crown of your head. You're never collapsing and rounding the spine, but you're also not keeping it totally upright. As you're ready, push your left hip forward and down. Push your right knee back with the help of your elbow. Look up, stretch up, turn, twist up your body back, lock your left leg, keep your left foot flat on the floor. Change, rotate your arms, straighten your right leg, right toes in, left toes out, other side, inhale, bend your left leg, lunge. Taking a bigger or smaller step might help you sit down more. Lean back and move your arms, left elbow in front of the knee. Hover your fingertips between your big and second toe. Don't touch the floor, don't push any weight on the floor. Look up to the ceiling, touch your chin to your shoulder and breathe. Push your right hip forward and down. Push your left knee back with the help of your elbow, abdomen in, turn, twist upper body back, lock your right leg, keep your right foot flat on the floor, change. Rotate your arms, straighten your left leg, turn your left toes in and bring your arms up, palms together, only cross your thumbs. Standing, separate leg, head to knee, Dande Amana Vikaptapada Janusharasana. Pivot on your heels to one side of your mat. Turn your back toes in, push your hips forward, one, two, three, four, five times. So two hips in line, two heels in line, backside foot makes a 45 degree angle. Stretch up, 
tuck your chin to your chest and you go down. So this is a rounded spine posture. This is one to be cautious of if your back is kind of hurting today or you have a history of slip discs. You can take a bigger step. You can bend your front leg or turn your back toes in more. So eventually forehead and knee come together to touch. But if rounding your spine this much is like tugging or pulling on your back and not in a pleasant way, ease up a little bit. Eventually you round your spine, forehead and knee touch, but you're never forcing your body. Push your forehead into your knee, lock both legs, hands together, arms with your ears, change. Slowly come up, arms with your ears, chin to chest, head up last. Good, pivot on your heels to the other side of the room. Uncross your heels, make sure you still have three to four feet between your feet, a generous step, be generous with yourself, turn your back toes in, press your right hip forward, left hip back, stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest, and go down. Chin to chest, abdomen in, bend your front leg, touch your knee and head together. Front side compression, throat choked, eyes open, breathing normal. Stretch all 10 fingers, just beyond your big and second toe. Bring maximum weight to your front foot. Left hip up, right hip down, two hips in line. Push your forehead into your knee, lock both legs, hands together. Change, slowly uncurl, go slow. That's where you build the strength, the control, the balance, head up last. Good, pivot on your heels, step your right foot back, arms down, optional sun salute, inhale, lift your arms up, look up. Exhale, bend your knees, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step back into your high plank or tabletop. Pull yourself down, lower down halfway. Inhale, your back bend. Exhale, your spine stretch. Good, take an inhale. Exhale. Inhale, look forward, step or float forward, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms with your ears, root to rise, lift up. Exhale, second set stretching, step your right foot to the right, big step. Toes in, heels out, chest up, and swan dive forward. Option to do a second set of stretching, grab your heels, pull stretch, touch your head to the floor, or you can join me for another fun posture called Malasana, garland pose, sometimes referred to as a yogi squat. Once your hands are on the floor in front of you, take a smaller step. So depending on your body proportions, you want one to three feet between your heels. This time, turn your heels in and your toes out. So your feet make a V. As you're ready, bend your knees and start to sit down. So one day, heels on the floor, hips down, chest up. Um, at first, right, we kind of lean forward with our heels off the floor, that's really normal. Eventually, heels to floor, press your hands together, press the elbows out, lift the chest up, drop your shoulders down. It's a really great hip opener, a lot of the world, like, eats like this, hangs out like this, right? Uh, uses the bathroom like this, but a lot of Americans cannot do this shape with the body. And it's something that, you know, if you, I don't know, do when you're watching TV at night, just for a minute or so, slowly you'll feel your body opening up. Okay, when you're ready, put your hands on the floor, turn your toes back in, lift your hips up, maybe take a bigger step here, and then bring your arms out to the side, slowly come up. Second set triangle, I'm gonna give us a couple different options. Turn your right foot out, Take a bigger step, bend your right leg, sit down, lean back, and move your arms. Option one is to stay in 26 and two style triangle with the knee bent and the elbow in front of the knee. Option two is a more vinyasa style triangle. Place your right hand on the floor in front of your right foot and lift your right leg up. So right leg locked. You can look up towards the ceiling and stretch. You want a nice long line from your hips to the crown of your head. You're also welcome to have your hand on your ankle or shin. Okay, this is option two. You can stay right here. It's a really yummy inner thigh stretch, right? Option three, bend your right leg again. We're going to float a bird of paradise. Take your right hand in between your legs. Try to give yourself a pat on your butt. Bend your left arm back behind you. See if you can cusp your hands together. Start to walk your feet back together. One day heels touch, and when you're ready, shift your weight to your left leg, lift your chest up, and then kick your right foot forward for bird of paradise. Cindy, I know you remember this one from our Saturday 1 p.m. classes. Press your hips forward, lean back, chest up. Very nice. When you're ready, bend your right leg, push your right foot back down on the floor, take a wider step, undo the bind on your arms, bring your arms back to 6 and 12 o'clock, change. Rotate your arms, straighten your right leg, right toes in, left toes out, other side, bend your left leg, sit down, lean back, and move your arms. Option one, 26 and two style triangle. Option two, vinyasa tri style triangle. Left hand to the floor in front of your left foot, straighten your left leg, look up and breathe. 
You can stay here or float a bird of paradise, bend your left leg again, take your left hand in between your legs, try to pat your own butt, drape your right hand behind you, catch your hands together, walk your feet back together, heels touch, shift your weight to your right leg, and lift up. Maybe you press your hips forward, lift your chest up, maybe one day both legs lock. Very nice. When you're ready, bend that left leg back down, left foot to floor, take a wider step, bring your arms back to six and 12 o'clock, change, rotate your arms, straighten your left leg, left toes in, second set head to knee, draw Nishrasana, arms up, palms together, cross your thumbs, pivot on your heels to one side of the room. You can do regular head to knee pose with arms of your ears, or you can bring your arms down and behind you, either just holding one hand in the other, or eventually fingers together, one day palms together into that prayer position. Cindy, I remember you working on this too. I love this. Turn your back toes in, push your left hip forward, stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest and go down, chin to chest, stomach in. You can take a bigger step. I can already tell I'm gonna need a bigger step. Bend your right leg if you want, touch your knee and head together. If your arms are behind you, you can interlock fingers, release index fingers, cross your thumbs, start to bring your arms up and forward for a nice shoulder rinse. If your hands are up and forward, bring your hands back to your lower back. Push your forehead into your knee, lock both legs, everybody hands together, change, slowly uncurl, left hip forward, left shoulder forward, full stop at the top. Good, pivot on your heels to the other side of the room. I'm gonna face you. Make sure your heels are in line, but not crisscross. That'll make this really hard to balance. Turn back, toes in, press right hip forward, stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest and go down. Chin to chest, abdomen in, bend your front leg if you need to, touch knee and head together. If your hands are behind you, interlock fingers, release index fingers, cross thumbs, lift your index fingers up to the ceiling and forward to the front of your mat. Really nice shoulder opener. If your hands are up and forward, bring your hands back to the lower back, push your forehead into your knee, lock both legs, hands together. Change, slowly uncurl as if you're dragging your forehead, up your thigh, your chest, arms with your ears, head up last. Good, pivot on your heels, right foot back, arms down, optional sun salutes, the second to last one. Inhale, lift your arms up, look up. Exhale, bend your knees, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hands to floor, push hands into floor and step back into your high plank or tabletop. Next exhale, pull yourself down halfway. Inhale, push yourself up, back bend. Exhale, push your hands down, lift your hips up, down dog. Elbows in, rotate the shoulders out, press down through the knuckles, tailbone to ceiling, heels to floor, push your legs back. Inhale, look forward, step or float forward, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms with your ears, root your eyes, lift up. Exhale, arms down. Wonderful. Come to the middle of your mat for tree pose, which we will then flow to toe stand. Lock your left leg, lift your right leg up, touch your heel to your costume. Sole the foot flat to ceiling, slowly, gently. Let your right knee drop down and back into a half lotus shape. Never force your body. Right hand up to the center of your chest. And if you can balance left hand. Option to stay here or flow to toe stand, fold forward. Hands to floor, lean forward, lift your heel, bend your knee, sit down. Walk your hands back to either sides of your hips and breathe through your nose. Left hand up to the center of your chest. Right hand up, palms together. If you've got this, try sliding your right foot forward, kicking forward. You might fall back. <laughs> One day, see if you can reverse that foot back in. Good. Maybe come a half inch off your heel. Good. When you're ready, hands to floor. You can come up on two feet or lift your hips up, straighten your standing leg, and then press your hips forward to reverse out. Very nice change, right leg down, shift your weight to your right leg, lift your left leg up. Remember this side might feel a little or a lot different, that's okay. Heel to costume, slowly let your left knee drop, left hand up, and if you can balance right hand. I have to tell you, I taught that hip opener yin yoga class a couple of weeks ago that is on my YouTube channel, and since then this posture has felt like wildly different in a good way, it's pretty cool. When you're ready, <laughs> this yoga stuff really works. When you're ready, pick a spot on the floor, don't move your eyes. Fold forward, hands to floor, lean forward, lift your heel, bend your knee, sit down. Walk your hands back to either sides of your hips. Left hand up, right hand up. Maybe kick the foot forward. Whew. Maybe fall out, maybe don't. Maybe bring the foot back in. 
maybe come a half inch off your heels. Always an invitation or a question, never a demand. Good. When you're ready, hands to floor. You can come up on two feet or lift your hips up to straighten your standing leg and then push your hips forward to reverse out. Very nice. Change, optional final sun salute. Inhale, lift your arms up, look up. Exhale, bend your knees, hold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step or float back. Keep exhaling, pull yourself down halfway. Inhale, your back bend. Exhale, your expansive spine stretch. Try to get heels to the floor. Take a slow, dry breath in through your nose, generating heat. Slow, dry breath out through the nose, creating a little bit of circulation warmth in the body. Inhale, look forward, step or float forward, lengthen halfway, shoulders away from ears. Exhale, hold. Inhale, reach to rise, lift up. Exhale, arms down. Wonderful. We are on the floor for the rest of class. You can give yourself high five, fist bump, turn around, savasana. I'm going to adjust our camera angle ever so slightly. Wonderful. Okay. Head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat. Heels together, toes fall open, arms down, palms face the ceiling, eyes open, mouth closed, breathing normal. So we are um, honoring the roots of this 26 and 2 style yoga through this class, right? We're doing some postures and some variations of postures from the Vishnu Ghosh lineage of yoga. And um, one thing, you know, there's many different lineages of yoga throughout India. And one thing that I think is important to keep in mind is that at the end of the day, even though there's something like truly sacred about these postures, this movement, the eight limbs of yoga, I mean, truly sacred. Um, there's also something deeply human about it, especially when you start to look at different lineages of yoga. And sometimes, you know, if we compare like Bikram 26 and 2, Vishnu Ghosh, Calcutta lineage of yoga versus Ashtanga yoga out of Mysore, India. Um, sometimes, you know, what posture goes where in the sequence, you realize there's reasoning to it. But at the same time, you know, at the end of the day, it was just some guy, right, 100 years ago, 200 years ago, who was like, I want to do, um, you know, guillotine before I do uh, garland pose or vice versa like it is there is a humanity to it so keep that in mind um, on the one hand these postures and the sequence of postures are very well thought out um changed over time tried and true right even 26 and 2 yoga has changed a bit over the years and at the same time they're deeply human so if something in the sequence does not work for you, that doesn't necessarily mean that like you've messed up or you're doing anything wrong. It just means like your body proportions, your physiology, your life story might be a little bit different from the people that created the style of yoga. So if you can't do something or you can't do something just yet, please uh, don't take it personally. Just view it as an invitation to maybe expand your practice, but also an invitation to set like real boundaries, right? And if something does not feel good for you, you don't have to do it. We'll continue. Pavana Mutasana when you're moving pose. Bend your right leg up. Interlock your 10 fingers just below the shin. Nice tight white knuckle grip. Pull your knee out to the right, down towards your shoulder. Completely avoid your rib cage. Keep your head on the floor. Look down the center line of your body and breathe. Change right leg down. Bend your left leg up. Pull your knee out and down. Push the pads of your fingers into the backs of your hands to strengthen your grip. Change left leg down. Both legs lift up. Grab your elbows each other. Give yourself a big hug for coming to class. Squeeze your knees together and down. Keep your head on the floor. Look down the center line of your body. Hold still. Eventually or in the future when the bone joint skeletal system has improved, the whole spine from coccyx to the neck will be flat on the floor. Change. Arms down and eyes open. You are welcome to do second set just as we did first set. I will uh, otherwise I will provide us with some other fun variations. So second set you can do what's called um, supine figure four. So keep lying on your back, bend your legs so that your feet are on the floor. Keep your left foot on the floor, lift right foot off the floor. 
steer your right knee to the right. So right ankle shin area comes on to left knee thigh area. So if you look down the center line of your body, you make, your legs make a bit of a four shape. That's why it's called figure four. From here, start to lift your left foot off the floor and hug your thighs in towards your abdomen. You can grab your outer thighs, your knees. I like to um, interlace my fingers behind the left thigh and just hold still and breathe. This is really good practice for another posture in the Vishnu Ghosh lineage called um, pigeon pose or swan pose. This is a really great way to get that same stretch to the outer right thigh, glute and sciatic nerve um, without having to put too much pressure on the hip. Change, left foot down, right foot down, other side, keep your right foot on the floor, lift your left foot off the floor, turn your left knee out to the left, place your left ankle shin area on top of your right knee thigh, start to lift your right foot off the floor and hold on to your knees or the backs of your legs. So if you have sciatic nerve pain, or if you know somebody who's like, oh, I have sciatica, tell them to do this posture. This is their posture. Same thing if you have like a frozen hip, this posture will um, open up the outer thigh, the sciatic nerve that runs all the way from the lower back down to the foot. Change, right leg down, left leg down. This time, lift both legs up. We can take a happy baby. So keep your knees bent, bring your legs apart, flex your toes back towards your face, and see if you can catch the outsides of your feet with your hands. So I like to have elbows inside of my knees and then grab the feet from the outside. If grabbing the feet is not um, accessible for you today, you can also grab the backs of your knees and thighs. And then if you'd like, you can start to roll back and forth side to side. This is a really nice way to roll out the back muscles. Oh, it feels so good. <laughs> okay, as you're ready, you can start to straighten your right leg when you roll to the right and then pull back to center. And when you roll to the left, maybe straighten your left leg. So you get this nice little inner thigh hamstring stretch. This posture is also a great hip opener. Come back to center, pull down, and release. Arms down and eyes open. Now, another thing to keep in mind with um, 26 and 2 style yoga, there's sequences or series within the pot within the um, full 26 sequence. So like we have, you know, the balancing series, the spine strengthening series, which we're about to do. Well, in 26 and two style yoga, because it's a bit more beginner friendly, we take breaks in between each set of each posture, especially on the floor. But in Vishnu Ghosh's lineage or his original um, sequence of 84 postures, there's no breaks. <laughs> so we're gonna do the next four postures together and then take a break and then we'll do them together and then take a break. I'll explain it as we go through it. I just wanted to give you a heads up. You're welcome to skip sit ups by rolling off to the side. Otherwise, legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Good, come to lie on your stomach for the spine strengthening series, starting with Cobra Bhujangasana. So we're gonna float all four postures back to back to back and then try them again. Place your hands flat on the floor just below your shoulders so your elbows point up to the ceiling. Feet together, toes, heels touch, lock your legs, look up and lift. So this is called the spine strengthening series because we're strengthening our back, right? It's not called the spine flexibility series, it's called the spine strengthening series. Keep your feet, hips, and hands down. You wanna feel your back muscles start to wake up. Lock your legs, press your palms flat on the floor. Look up, chin up, chest up, stretch up, breathe up. Good, change, slowly lower down. We're gonna flow to locus, shalabhasana, chin forward, arm straight position, palms face the floor. As you're ready, bring your arms underneath you. One day pinky fingers touch, never force your arms. Lock your right leg, point your right toes, and lift your right leg up to a 45 degree angle, half of 90. See the foot come directly over the top of your head, thigh up, shoulders down, change, right leg down. Relax, right leg, lock your left leg, point your left toes, and lift your left leg up. Try to keep hip and forearm in contact. Spiral your inner left thigh up so the sole of your left foot is flat to the ceiling, change. Left leg down, third part, tuck your chin and mouth down, bring your arms a little closer, keep your hips and forearms in contact for leverage. Mouth down, feet together, squeeze your butt, lock your legs, point your toes, and lift both legs up. So just like we practiced in the sun salutes, rather than pressing your wrists down, press your knuckles down, push down that space between the index finger and thumb. Roll forward, shoulders down, mouth down, lock your legs, lift your thighs up, change, lower down, full locus, furnish all of asana. Bring your arms out to the side like airplane wings, feet together, toes and heels touch. Lock your legs, squeeze your butt, point your toes, look up, and lift. Arms, body, head, legs, everything lifts off the floor very nice like a 747, taking off just your hip bones on the floor, the rest of your body's in the air. Look up to the ceiling where your eyes go, body knows to follow. Lift your thighs up, chin up, chest up, look up, come up a little higher at the end. 
Good, change, slowly lower down, Dhanurasana, floor bow, chin forward, bend your legs, grab your feet from the outside, two inches below your toes, thumbs of your index fingers, always have to adjust my stomach a little bit here, point your toes, squeeze your butt, look up towards the ceiling, and start to kick into your hands. I can feel lunge continuously, keep kicking without stopping, without intermission, it's the kick that drives the posture. Roll forward once, freeze between your ribs and hips, hold still, do little sips of air in and out through your nose, bring your knees in, feet out, wrist straight, look up, kick, 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 good, change, lower down, look to your right, left ear on your mat, arms down, palms face the ceiling, toes together, heels fall open. Take a slow inhale through your nose, Slow exhale through your nose. Lift your head and look to the other side, right ear on your mat. If looking left and right bothers your neck or shoulder, you are welcome to bend one or both arms so that your hands are close to your face, and that should take some pressure off of the neck and shoulder. As you inhale, feel the backs of your ribs expand. As you exhale, let your shoulders and chest fall. Good. Second set, bring your chin forward, hands flat on the floor, just below your shoulders. So second set in these postures, I will give us some optional variations. I probably won't do all of them today because my neck is bothering me. But second set, if you'd like, you can open your feet so they're hip width distance, and then bring your, pardon me, mat width distance, and then bring your hands back like four inches so your thumbs are in line with your um, lower ribs. Lock your legs, keep your feet on the floor, look up and lift. So from here, when the hands are back, you might feel it in the triceps a little bit more. Press your hands down, try to get your elbows to your hips, and then squeeze your shoulders together like you've got a number two pencil in between your shoulder blades. From here, if you'd like, lock your arms, press your hips down, this is seal pose. And if you can keep your hips on the floor, notice if your hips are coming up, press your hips on the floor, shoulders down. If it feels good, you can relax your head all the way back and maybe bend your legs and put your feet on your head. Not today for me. Good, change slowly, lower down. Lokesh, Shalabhasana, chin forward, arms straight position, palms face the floor. Bring your arms underneath you as best you can. If you'd like, you can tuck your toes under and stick your butt up so that your knees come to your fingertips. You wanna feel the weight in your shoulders. Lock your right leg, point your right toes and lift your right leg up. You can keep the left knee bent or straighten it, really feel the weight in the shoulders but not the neck. You'll notice that I can talk normally here. Change, left leg down, right leg down, other side, lock your left leg, point your left toes, lift your left leg up, and if you'd like, straighten your right leg, lock both legs, point your left toes. Change, right knee down, left knee down, third part, tuck your chin and mouth down, mouth on your mat. If you'd like, you can keep your chin forward only if you have a healthy neck. Lock your legs, point your toes, and lift both legs up. You can try separating your legs here for a second if it helps, and then bring the feet back together. See if that helps you lift up more, thighs up, shoulders down, squeeze your butt, lock your legs, point your toes, lift your thighs up. Good, change, lower down, bring your arms out, full locus, purna shalabhasana. Second set, if you'd like, you can try keeping your feet on the floor, mat width distance. It's another version of full cobra that we explored earlier. Arms out, feet together, feet down. Lock your legs, point your toes, look up and lift. So feet down and chest up. Again, you can also do regular um, full locust with knees, feet together, feet off the floor, or practice pressing your feet down and then lift your chest up. Good, change, slowly lower down, Dhanurasana floor bow, chin forward, bend your legs, grab your feet from the outside. And if you'd like a little bit of a different variation, walk your hands around, grab your feet from the inside, just like standing bow. Place your thumbs in between your big and second toe. Point your toes, squeeze your butt, look up and start to kick into your hands. And if you have the grip on your feet from the inside, you can play around with the shoulder opener that helps us into um, full floor bow. Bring the right elbow out and forward, left elbow out and forward, one day head and toes touch. If you're doing this shoulder rotation, you're gonna come out of it a little differently. Release one foot, other foot, everybody change. Arms down, Whew. look to your right, left ear on your mat, breathing in and empty out. Good for you. If you're looking to your right, gently lift your head, look to your left. Send deep belly breaths in and out through your nose to massage the front of your body. Breathe deep into any point of tension. Let the floor hold you up. Okay, 
Bring your chin forward, put your hands on the floor, press yourself up, come to the top of your mat for the fixed firm series. We're gonna flow the next four postures together the same way that we did this fine strengthening series. Start in tabletop, open your knees, open your feet. I'm showing you from the side. From here, start to walk your hands back. You can keep your hands in front of you, beside you, or behind you the whole time until one day you can sit down between your heels. Doesn't have to be today or tomorrow, never force your body. From here, put your hands on your feet, right elbow down, left elbow down, head back, head to floor, tuck your chin in, neck, shoulders on the floor, arms over your head, grab your elbows each other and hold. Wherever you are is perfect. You want a gentle stretch through your toes, ankles, knees, and hips, but never a point of pain. Change, put your hands on your feet, push yourself up, head up last, come to the middle of your mat. This time, sit knees, feet together, hips on your heels, Half forward to start a Kramasana. Arms up, palms together, cross your thumbs, stretch up, and slowly with control go down. Forehead to floor, little fingers to floor. Activate your arms, tilt your pinky fingers down, reach your arms forward, sink your hips down, stretch, stretch, hmm, stretch. Feels so good. Good, change, slowly come up. Camel Ustrasana, stand on your knees, six inches between your knees and feet. Put your hands on your lower spine, thumbs outside, fingers down to the floor. Keep your eyes open, look up, lift your nose, lift your chin, and if it feels good, you can relax your head all the way back. If you have a kink in your neck like I do, maybe just looking up towards the ceiling is enough for today. If your head drops back all the way, go back halfway and freeze in the middle. Option to stay here or when you're ready, right hand down, grab your right heel, left hand down, grab your left heel, thumbs outside, fingers inside, full palm grip on your heels. If you can't grab your heels yet, keep your hands on your back. It's safer for your spine. Push your hips forward, lift your chest up, relax your head back. Change, put your hands on your back, push yourself up slowly with control, head up last. Knees, feet together, hips on your heels for rabbit, sasangasana. Keep your hands on your lower back and just slide down. Thumbs outside, fingers inside, full palm grip on your heels. Stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest and go down. So we are in camel pose. We extended the front of the body and bent the spine. In rabbit pose, we're compressing the front of the body and rounding the spine. Forehead to knees, automatically top of head to floor. Pull on your heels, don't lose the grip, lift your hips up. If there's a gap between your knees and head, you can walk your knees up one by one, but head stays in place. Squeeze your heels together, press your hips forward, abdomen in, round your spine. Good, change, hips down, slowly uncurl, vertebra by vertebra, disc by disc, head up last. Very nice, turn around, savasana. Head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat. So flowing the postures back to back, kind of like we did, you know, from standing head to knee to standing bow. Keep in mind that part of it is that then you can see how they kind of relate to each other, right? Like we go from knees and feet apart to knees and feet together, to knees and feet apart, to knees and feet together. Um, you are welcome to take an extra long luxurious savasana or you can join me in a core strengthening drill. If you would like, bend your legs so that your feet are on the floor and then lift your feet off the floor. Keep your legs bent so that your knees are over your hips and your shins are parallel to the ceiling. So your legs make it out. Try to tuck your tailbone under, pull your belly button in so you feel the lower back come down to the floor. From here, interlace your fingers, lift your head, and bring your arms under the nape of your neck. Spread your elbows wide, chest wide, lower back to the floor. As you're ready, start to straighten your right leg to the back wall and pull right elbow towards left knee, looking slightly to the left. You're gonna feel your abdominal wall engage. From here, pull back to center, bend the right knee. Now straighten your left leg, bring your left elbow to right knee, looking to the right, keep the lower back down, and then pull back to center. Straighten the right leg, right elbow to left knee, come back to center, straighten the left leg, left elbow to right knee, come back to center, and then pick up the pace for bicycle kicks for five, four, abdomen in, three, two, and one, good, change, lower down, arms down, legs down. If you'd like to skip the sit up, roll off to the side, otherwise legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Good, okay. Come to the top of your mat, second set, I'll give us some different variations if you'd like. Open your knees, open your feet. If you can sit down between your heels, maybe try bringing the knees together, put your palms on your soles, right elbow, left elbow, 
Head back, head to floor, tuck your chin in, neck, shoulders on the floor, arms over your head, grab your elbows and hold. For those of you who do this posture pretty much every time, like your knees are good, your ankles are good, you're looking for a deeper stretch in the knees and thighs, you're gonna keep your knees on the floor, squeeze your butt, and start to lift your hips up so that your butt comes off the floor, and then you'll feel this big stretch across the um, quadriceps and knees. Good, slowly lower the hips back down. Two more, squeeze your glutes, press your hips and pelvis up. Lower down, last time, squeeze your tush, lift your hips up, keep the knees on the floor, lower down. Change, hands to floor, push yourself up, come to the middle of your mat. Second set, half tortoise. If you'd like, you can take a wide-legged child's pose instead. So feet together, but knees come apart. Put your hands on the floor, and this time, walk yourself forward. Forehead to floor, little fingers to floor. So whereas in half tortoise, the palms are together and the arms are active. In child's pose, you can have the palms face the floor, let the arms relax. Feel a big expansiveness across the back. Really open the back through the inhale breath and then release the hips through the exhale breath. Re-energize, reorganize, revitalize. Good, change. Put your hands on your back, push yourself up, and then keep your knees apart, feet together, lift your hips up for camel ustrasana. You're welcome to do a second set of camel like we did first set, or you can try um, some fun drills to get you into full camel. I can't necessarily demonstrate them today because of my neck, but I will still walk you through them. So if you'd like to try some fun full camel stuff, you're gonna bring your hands together at heart center, drop your head back as far as it goes, and you're basically gonna try and play patty cakes with the back wall. So lift your right arm up like you're trying to high five the ceiling, and then keep bringing your arm back like you're trying to high five the wall behind you, bring it back to center. Lift your left arm up like you're trying to high five the ceiling, and then bring your arm back like you're trying to high five the back wall, pull it back to center. Lift both arms up like you're trying to push the ceiling away from you, and then bring your arms back like you're trying to push the wall away from you, bring your hands back to center. So it's patty cake, patty cake, Baker's man, eventually head goes all the way back, eventually arms go all the way back, eventually hands to the floor, and then you grab your big toes and bring forehead to toes. Wherever you are is great. You're feeling an extension through the front of the body, healing compression through the spine. Change, slowly come up, take your time. Knees, feet back together. You can do a second set of rabbit, stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest, go down, or you can join me for um, plow pose and shoulder stand. So if you're joining me, you're gonna come down onto your back. Try to bring your arms underneath you, palms face the floor, bend your legs up, and then lift your feet up. And at first, just get some momentum, rocking back and forth. I'm already realizing I'm gonna run into my sofa, so I'm coming back a little bit. So rocking back and forth, and when you're ready, push your hands into the floor and try to roll so that your feet come to the floor behind your head. Don't move your neck. I just did, and then I was like, nope, don't do that. Okay, if your feet can touch the floor, this is plow pose. You can move to, uh, to ear pressure pose. So if your feet touch the floor, bend your knees so that your knees put some pressure on your ears. That's why it's called ear pressure pose. And then if you'd like, you can grab your heels with your hands and really pull down. And now it looks an awful lot like rabbit pose, but you're doing it on your neck and shoulders rather than your shins. Okay, if you've got the grip on your feet and ear pressure pose, bring your hands back down to the floor, straighten your legs, bend your arms so that your hands are on your back for support, and we're gonna go into shoulder stand. Start to lift your hips up towards the ceiling. Chin to chest, so press your hips forward, lift your feet up towards the ceiling and breathe. It's a shoulder stand. We are trapping prana, life force energy in our throat right now. Good, when you're ready, we're gonna go back to pose. Black, <laughs> words are hard. Back to plow pose, bring your feet back overhead, hands back down to the floor and slowly roll out. Push your hands into the floor, try to go slow with control, feet back down to the floor. And if you'd like to take a counter pose, arms underneath you, bend your elbows and drop your head back for fish pose. So a nice way to release the life force energy from the throat. Good, tuck your chin in, head back down to the floor, arms out, change, lower down, turn around, savasana. So, you know, one thing also to keep in mind with what we're doing here is like in more, um, 
vinyasa styles of yoga, um, which there are some elements of that in Vishnu Gosha's lineage as well, you're really moving around in time and space. One of the things that I love about 26 and 2 yoga um, is that it's more static. So you do a posture, you hold, and then you release, and you do a posture again, and you hold and release. So just keep that in mind in this class when we were like, turn right, turn left, do a shoulder stand, twist your spot, you know what I mean? That can be really discombobulating at first, um, but it's an, an interesting challenge, not just for the body, but for the mind to really be aware of like, where's my sofa, where's my TV stand, right? Where am I in time and space at all times? It's um, it's a really beautiful way to ground yourself in the present moment, just by whirling and twirling. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. <sighs> Wonderful, come to the middle of your mat, first set, head to knee stretching normal, right leg out, left leg in, two legs make an L, a 90 degree angle, no wider. Inhale, arms overhead, stretch up. Exhale, turn to your right, tuck your chin to your chest, go down. Bend your right leg, interlock your 10 fingers up to the webbing under the ball of your foot. Flex your toes back, engage your abdominal wall, bend your elbows down to open shoulder blade scapula and stretch through your neck. Change, arms up, left leg out, right leg all the way in, stretch up, turn to your left, tuck your chin to your chest and go down. If it's easy for you to touch your forehead and knee together with a bent leg, see if you can straighten or even lock your leg, bend elbows down, right elbow down, right shoulder down, roll into the right, then change, arms up, both legs out in front of you. If you're skipping, sit up, stay here. Otherwise, lay down, let your spine realign and sit up. Paschimottanasana stretching, bend your knees, hook onto your big toes, with your peace sign fingers, thumbs on top, scoot your butt back, right, left, right, left, 10 to 15 times. Knees can stay bent if it helps you keep a flat back. If your legs are straight, lock your legs, inhale, stretch up. Exhale, fold, stomach to thighs, shoulders back, chest to knees, shoulders back, one day forehead and toes touch. Stay seated, we're gonna flow to spine twist. Change, come on up, so we're flowing to spine twist, bend your left leg on the floor. Ardha Matsandrasana, Lord of the Fish, touch your right heel to left knee, right arm behind you, left arm up, bend over, grab your left knee with your left hand, hand, heel, and knee touch. This is your posture, Jamie. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, look over your right shoulder twist. You can keep your right hand behind you or wrap it behind you for the half bind. Try to grab your left thigh with your right hand. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, look back, twist. Twist, twist. Good, change, unwind, swap out your legs. I'm gonna show you from the side. You can bend your right leg or have your right leg straight. Left arm behind you, right arm up and over. Grab right knee with the right hand, hand, heel, and knee touch. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, look over left shoulder twist. Again, you can keep your hand behind you or wrap behind you. Grab your right thigh with your left hand for the half bind. Keep spine straight, chest up, rib cage open, twist. Good, change, unwind, turn around, savasana. So this is our little warm down sequence of postures. You're welcome to do second set, just as we did first set, where I will provide us with some fun variations. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. <sighs> Wonderful, come to the middle of your mat, second set. You can have your right leg out wider so that now your hips are opening up rather than being square. Option to place your right hand on the outer or inner thigh and reach your left arm up overhead can stay right here. If it feels good, really go down. Maybe catch your foot with your hands, right shoulder forward, left shoulder back, open your chest like a flower petal blooming. Versus our head to knee pose where the spine is rounding equally on both sides. This is a nice stretch to the left side body. Change, release out, left leg out, right leg in. You can have your hand inside or outside of your thigh. Reach your right arm up overhead. Try to keep your right sit bone down, right shoulder down. Option to stay here or you can keep coming down maybe even catching your foot with your hand. So left rib cage forward, whew, right rib cage back. Good, you're gonna open through the heart space. Good, and release. Keep your left leg long, right leg long. Stick your butt out and same thing, we're gonna go down with a flat back. Hands to floor, flex your toes, start to fold forward. At first hands to floor, one day forearm or even chest to floor. Shoulders back, chest forward, keep a nice flat back. Good change, come on up, stay seated. I'm gonna give us a couple different options for spine twist. Option one, sit crisscross applesauce. Option two, half lotus, left leg out, put your right foot on top of your left thigh. Option two, lotus pose, place your left foot on top of your right thigh. Right hand close behind you, left arm up, grab left, pardon me, grab right knee with left hand. Inhale, stretch up, 
Exhale, look over right shoulder twist. If you can balance here, reach your right arm behind you. See if you can catch your right big toe with your right hand for the bind. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, look back, twist, twist, twist. Good, change, unwind. If you are in lotus pose, stay just as you are with your right, uh, with your left foot on top and right foot on bottom. In pretty much every style of yoga, this is how it's done, right foot on bottom, left foot on top. If you are in half lotus, let's work out those knees and hips, right leg straight, left foot on top of thigh. And if you are sitting crisscross applesauce, switch the legs so the other one is on top, which like there is no more awkward of a feeling than sitting the reverse of the crisscross applesauce that you have been doing since you were a toddler, right? Bring your left hand behind you, right arm up. Place a right hand on left knee, inhale, stretch up. Exhale, look over left shoulder twist. If this is easy, take your left hand behind you. Try to grab your left big toe with your left hand for the bind. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, look back, twist, twist, twist. Good, unwind. And if you're in lotus, try down lotus. Catch your right foot with your right hand, left foot with left hand. This is what's called down lotus. All of the um, like binds that we do in um, Ardhamat Sandrasana posture at the end of 26 and two, this is what it's leading towards, right? Change, unwind, turn around, savasana. So sometimes when we take our 26 and two class, you know, at the end of class, we're kind of like exhausted or our mind is elsewhere. So we kind of phone it in for that spine twist. But actually, like if you can do the half bind there, it unlocks all of these other really cool postures and variations of postures in the yoga kingdom. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. <sighs> Wonderful. Come to the middle of your mat. Final breathing, Kapalbhati. Sit knees, feet together, hips on your heels, hands on your thighs. Um, first set normal, you're going to exhale through your mouth. <laughs> Pull your belly in. When the stomach relaxes, inhale happens automatic. Snow Beast first rodeo. Lick your lips, swallow a couple times. Concentrate, meditate. Don't forget to have fun. Here we go. All right, four, three, two, one. Good. So one thing to keep in mind, we call this in 26 and two breathing, we call it um, Kapalbhati breathing, but in Pretty much every other style of yoga, Kapalbhati breathing is done through the nose. So if you would like to try that in second set, it's the same idea. You pull your belly in with every exhale, but rather than exhaling through the mouth, you're going to exhale through the nose. I feel it more in my lungs, like you'll actually feel your lungs squeeze. So definitely lubricate your throat for this. You can swallow a couple times. Sit up nice and tall and begin. Five, four, three, two, one. Good for you. Honor yourself. Give yourself a hug. High five. Pat on the back. Turn around. Savasana. We finished a few minutes late, so if you need to leave, I totally understand. But if you have time, make time. Final Savasana. Close your eyes. Open your arms and legs. And just let it all sink in. Just give yourself permission to lie here in stillness giving yourself a little bit of relaxation, a little bit of peace and ease. Anything weighing heavy on your heart, any you know, cares in your mind, anything that's just not serving you anymore, you can inhale through your nose. Just let it go through the exhale breath just letting go just a little bit, right? Like loosening that grip. Take a breath in. Easy breath out. Picture yourself in perfect, radiant health. Stay in final savasana as long as you'd like. When you do get up, get up slowly and make sure you drink lots of water tonight. Hope to see you soon. Bye.